today's hearing uh, comes a day after the signing of uh, the most far-reaching uh, government intervention uh, into America's financial system in nearly a century. Uh, but it also comes at a precarious time for Americans. Uh, the economic recovery is anemic at best. Uh, recent data from private economists and the Fed show we, we are in an extended period of weak recovery uh, and uh, with some risk uh, of a worse prospect, and that's a double dip recession. Uh, I would disagree with you on, on the causes of uh, this continued economic downturn. Uh, I believe the spend, spendthrift, uh, anti business, and anti job economic policies of this administration and of the uh, Democrat controlled Congress have not only delivered have not delivered on the extravagant promises we heard from the President uh, when he signed the stimulus bill, but uh, that a staggering amount of money that we're spending on government programs is jeopardizing both our short and long-term economic future. It's simply pushing the risk uh, further out into the future at the detriment of not only uh, uh, confidence in our economy today, but uh, a bleaker economic future for our children and grandchildren. Uh, rather than growth, uh, we have an unacceptable high unemployment rate that is likely to rise further as the census winds down. We have created jobs, but those jobs are in Washington, not in the private sector. And as the Chairman Bernanke said yesterday, we need jobs creation in the private sector. Yet we are facing uh, expiration of of significant tax cuts, uh, which would, uh, I think, Chairman Frank, you would agree, will, will be will contract the economy. Uh, the last thing you want to do during a slow economic period is to raise taxes, but we have not addressed that. Rather than a housing recovery, and that's despite uh, a number of uh, government uh, intervention programs, we've had a brief tax incentivized rise in sales that's now stalled. And recently we have our 16 month in a row of foreclosure filings that total more than a month. Rather than the healthy economy that uh, President Obama, Speaker Pelosi, and Leader uh, Reid uh, promised, uh, we have a physical outright that's downright, downright alarming. Uh, Chairman Frank mentioned uh, tax cuts, what he didn't mention is that we're spending money we don't have and we have to borrow. And rather than uh, Ronald Reagan's shining city on the hill, we have a, we're in a debt ditch. And uh, we have a national debt that the, the average child born today, when they, uh, before they graduate from elementary school, uh, they'll be in a country that faces a worse debt situation than Greece faces today. Uh, Rather than economic incentives, uh, this Congress has, uh, has responded with policies that uh, have largely paralyzed investments by large businesses as well as small businesses. And I think particularly small businesses are paralyzed by the Democrat policies that create even more uncertainty uh, and prevent them from investing and growing and hiring new employees. That's true with Obamacare. It's true with our energy uh, uh, policies, and uh, it, uh, it will prove true with uh, some of the provisions in our financial regulatory bill, particularly those that were passed over our protest. Uh, this administration and, and the majority in the Congress have told the American people that this steroid in, enhanced spending would solve our economic problems. Well, they hadn't. They said if the U.S. spent hundreds of billions of dollars, millions of jobs would be created and businesses would grow. Even uh, Christine Romer, the President's economic advisor, says this isn't true. Uh, so far, the only real growth we've witnessed in our debt is our debt and our deficits, and in a size that's already bloating Washington bureaucracy. Uh, the 2,300-page uh, regulatory bill, uh, Frank Dodd bill that the President signed yesterday, mandates hundreds of new federal regulations and injects massive new uncertainty in an already fragile economy and will only accelerate these damaging trends. 
If you take time to listen to the American people, Gentlemen's time has expired. Uh, they're concerned about the debt and job creations, not the need for more government spending. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.